Andrea Marsh, a high school senior, attends Panama Central School located in a small village of southwestern New York. She puts the honor in the term honor student athlete. She excels in the classroom, ranked first in her class, as well as the athletic field. Teachers want her in their classes, coaches want her on their team, athletes, girls and boys alike, want her on their side. A lot of people are putting her on a pedestal because she's a girl that play, plays football, but she happens to just be a football player that's a girl. Andrea is truly deserving of the high school Rudy Award. She started playing midget football in fifth grade because her brother did, and it looked like fun. In prepping for one of her early seasons of midget football, her version of fun included pulling a cinder block across the backyard. From the beginning, she was racking up stats as well as demonstrating the discipline and mental toughness required in the hard-fought game of football. Andrea, five foot six, weighing 140 pounds, worked hard in the weight room knowing the physical demands of playing varsity football would be difficult. She never backed away and was always striving to improve her game. Coach's corrections and or play review were always met with, thank you coach, I'll do better next time. At the time I, that she joined football, it was uh, something that I didn't really want her to do, to do. I didn't feel she should do it. Her mom, Sandy, had talked to me and just said that she really felt that Andrea should be given the opportunity if she wanted to do so. So that's when she, she joined. Um, her brother was already playing. Yep, fifth grade is when we started because fourth grade she was too young to play and I remember in fifth grade the first practice she was out there playing with us. It was a blast. And uh, she's got it down to her core. She wants to hit. She's a physical person, loves to make plays, is smart on the field and uh, you know she's very coachable. You try to coach her up and she'd say thank you. Hey you gotta do a better drop here. Thank you. She was always thank you, yes sir. Andy's just one of those players that you need on the team. I mean, you tell her to go do something, she does it, gets it done. Gives about 110% to everything she does. Kept the team together. Just great leadership characteristics. I mean, we had squabbles and just put an end to them. Yeah, it's like unity. We were a tight-knit group because she was on the team. She definitely brought intensity to the team. She was definitely one of the spark plugs. She showed a lot of courage. I remember, um, I remember last year when we were when we were playing against Chautauqua Lake, which is one of our rivals. They had a kid on their team. His name's Steve Kenny, and he was like six four, two hundred seventy pounds, and he could bench press bench, bench press three ninety, and like for like a million times. And he was extremely strong. And she showed that courage of taking him on. Like she wasn't she wasn't afraid of him. Her character off the field is impeccable. She's just a person that uh, makes everybody on the team feel feel like they're important. Uh, we have our cancer, we go on cancer walks every year for breast cancer awareness and she's the first one to show up. She gets the flyers out, she organizes it all and uh, um, she's a great leader in that respect off the field too. I want to thank all my teammates and friends who are willing to talk about me because without them I obviously wouldn't have done anything or been able to play so um, just want to thank them. Go to www.highschoolrudyawards.com and vote for Andrea Marsh. She loves the game.